Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the Scout Tactical Channel. Tonight, not a gun review, but a piece of tactical gear. This is a cool piece of kit. I've actually gotten it for hunting, slash uh, hiking, backpacking, backpacking bag, but it's a tool. And it is the SOG Tactical Tomahawk. Now, the Tomahawk's still pretty funny to a lot of people. They're going, what in the world? Realistically, guys, what is it? It's a hatchet. But it is double-sided. It does have a spike on the other end, so it's a little more tactical than you would think. But the job here for me and my use on this tool is just going to be to cut wood in a camping or hiking situation. I think it'll do it great. But does it have its tactical applications? Well, of course. Now, I work as a police officer, as you guys know. I've said it before. But I don't have any law enforcement need for this tool, me personally. It's not going to be carried on duty, obviously. And... Although we do have to do entries and search warrants and stuff like that. And this would make a great glass breaker or barrier uh, like door frame pry bar. Uh, you know, I'm going to go with something a little more dedicated than this. Although it could be done. I just think it might have a negative stigma to go uh, policing with the tactical tomahawk. <laughs> now, you military guys that need something awesome for a breaching tool... Uh, glass breaking, you're doing your CQB stuff like in Iraq, this might be the tool for you. It's not too expensive. You know I love SOG. I've done several of their knives on YouTube for you guys, and I own many more than that. It's my absolute favorite brand of knives. So when I saw the SOG Tomahawk, I've been really wanting one for about a year. They were announced in 2012, really started shipping in 2013, and finally I picked one up for me in 2014. I said it doesn't cost much. How much does it cost? Well, they have a few models. This is the Tactical Tomahawk, kind of the original and base model that they have. And it's $30 to $40, depending on where you find it. I think I picked this one up for $31.50, something like that. So it, it comes with the Tomahawk and the regular uh, Cordura nylon sheath. This is an additional sheath that I purchased separately. And unfortunately, fail on SOG's part. That additional sheath is nearly as much as the Tomahawk. The sheath was 25 more dollars. So, but I got it to go on the pack, and I'll show you why I did. Okay, some specs on the Tomahawk. 15.75 inches, axle to axle, or length, lengthwise, as you would say in the archer world, axle to axle. This is the black version, not the satin version, which they also offer, though you'll see the blade area is satin. You'll see mine kind of got marked up in my first few uses with it, but it's okay. Some small nicks, but nothing major, and it didn't hurt the blade. The blade is, of course, saw greatness, so wonderful. It's a 2.75-inch cutting blade here, and then it has this unique spike on the end. This is beveled, but not sharp. There's not an edge here. It is just kind of a beveled area. Now, it has these uh, handles, which are removable if you get this band off, and they weren't loose for me, but I've heard a couple guys saying that they got a little loose on them when they were chopping, and they started getting some twang and vibration in the handles. I didn't experience that. It was just fine for me. Handle was very comfortable. I did hold it down here. I didn't neck up very much. And it does have the hole for the lanyard, which I haven't run yet, but I plan on putting a piece of uh, uh, leather cord from Tandy through there. Just to keep it, you know, a little, a little, uh, little safety measure while you're chopping. So I use it as a chopper, and the first thing I notice, and I thought about this before, but it has a spike on this end. So if you're using this bad boy as a hatchet, be aware that there's a spike. So if you swing it up towards your face, don't plow yourself in the forehead with a freaking spike. Just think before you use it. Always tilt your head off to the side on any hatchet that you're trying to use, but it does work great, but there is a spike on the other end. Now, that spike can be driven into uh, some pieces of wood that I had on the end and kind of used in a, in a splitting fashion. Now, it's not a great splitter. This actually did better for me than the other. Now, you're going to say, why don't you roll in the footage, Scout, of you using it in the woods? Okay, I'm sorry. It's mid-March in Texas, and we've had three days of drizzle and cloudy. So I haven't gotten out to show you guys the footage, but I have chopped some wood on it in my wood pile at home just playing around with it. I put some pieces on the back porch and mess with it. I'm going to go on an adventure pretty soon, hopefully, with my buddy Taz that we're playing in. This is coming with me, and we will use it in the woods, and I'll show it to you when we do kind of a, kind of a wilderness survival bag or bug out bag gear test that's coming up on the Prepper channel. So, no vibration. It handled really well, and it cuts really well, but... 
be aware that it only has a 2.75 inch cutting blade. It doesn't cut super fast for me. As a matter of fact, if you're on a big log, you kind of have to cut towards you, cut away from you, cut towards you, cut away from you in a V. You're, you're making two chops just to get the V, the width of the, of the uh, log, if that makes sense. So it's a pretty small cutting surface, in other words. For the rest of the specs, for you guys that love the details, it is 420 uh, stainless steel on the steel, which is different than SOG's normal OS 8. But a 420 seems to be a little more suitable for hatchets. And Tom Hawk says a lot of the hatchet guys, even Gerber and some of those guys are doing a regular old camp hatchets with 420. So 420, very durable. I didn't get any rusting and it was pretty wet when I was out. Um, it's 24 ounces. Kind of a downside, especially if you're considering this for your bug out bag or you're considering it for some type of uh, hiking backpack. 24 ounces is exactly a pound and a half. It has a little weight, but it has capability. Remember, if you're going out there with just a fixed blade knife, if you throw this in the mix, now you have the ability to chop a lot more efficiently or, again, in your application, maybe break glass in a vehicle or building or, again, uh, chop on window frames or door frames to try to pry them open. So, good to go. I think you'll like this device. I think it's awesome and you got to go with Cool Factor. Guys, it's a tomahawk, so that's cool inherently, but I think you'll like it. The nylon sheath is kind of funky. It's great, but the buttons don't say snap very well. It does have one little strap on the back. Just fits over the head there. One little strap, so you could strap it to something theoretically, but these buttons do not stay buttoned, or the snaps don't say snap, whichever way you want to say it. So it's kind of disappointed on that. Normally, SOG is uh, top tier stuff, in my opinion. Look at the little uh, holster real quick. And it's officially the Tomahawk Molded Hard Nylon Sheath. Now, it's a hard plastic. I bought it in hopes that this will mount to my pack, and indeed it will. So I'm going to mount this to the backpack. You just kind of rock it in there, system, as you see in the directions. You just rock the Tomahawk in there. And now you can keep it on the outside of your pack, but it's very secure. It is tiltable, as you'll see with the mount slides. This is kind of a uh, AKA gun holster world right here. You've seen these type of clips from a ton of different, uh, like Blade Tech, 511, uh, Blackhawk's doing some strange mounts now. So all those kind of mounts are, you know, a la the gun world is really where that came from. And I like the, the uh, sheath. That's going to let you keep it on the outside of your gear bag, your backpack and back backpack or what have you and not lose it if you strap this on the pack i think there'd be a pretty good chance that you'd lose it because those snaps wouldn't stay and this would fall out again a little bit of heft it is a pound and a half so you definitely know you're holding it and again 15.75 inches now are, are there any alternatives well of course there are guys in iraq uh, early on and uh, even in desert storm were using some tomahawks in the field some guys in some units and uh, there's a bunch of them out there. You can spend $100, $200 if you want to. I think this $40 Tomahawk is a great bet from SOG, and they themselves have competitors in their own lineup. They have the Voodoo Hawk, the Fast Hawk, and several other new Tomahawks that have come out. Kind of this started it for them. It sold well. Now we're on to the, uh, to the other ones. I worked an off-duty police job on Black Friday in a Walmart, and they had $20 Fast Hawks, which is a smaller version, it looked like. Smaller head, smaller handle. Man, I should have bought one. I can't find them right now, and I definitely can't find them for $20. It was kind of a Black Friday special. But I didn't have anywhere to put it. If I would have bought it that night, I would have had to hold up the rest of the shift. So my loss, just be aware, there are lots of good ones out there. So if you're looking for a hatchet, a breaching tool, a glass breaker, anything like that, I think that you should consider the SOG Tactical Tomahawk. Very cool piece of gear, $40 or less. 24 ounces. Guys, as always, I appreciate the views and the subscriptions. We've topped a thousand. I think you saw the post on Facebook. Those of you 3,000 something people that are following the Facebook thing, we have topped a thousand YouTube subscribers last week, and that's awesome. We're at about 1020. So I really appreciate that. Let's keep it rolling. Check us out on the web at scouttactical.com, which is about to be redesigned because we're now selling on our eBay store. I'll put all that on the website. And Check us out on Facebook. Of course, Scout Tactical is part of the whole network, which is Scout Tactical Channel, Scout Prepper, and Scout Hunter. There are three channels. Check them all out for different tastes, and I hope you subscribe to them always. As always, thanks for watching.